Moving on, the Minister of Health is projecting brighter days in the fight against COVID-19. If the current trend of few daily infections continues in the next four weeks, on Friday, the Minister of Health announced 179 new positive cases out of the 4,178 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Chief Administrative Secretary Dr. Rashid Aman said the government will seek the help of the Africa Center for Disease Control to establish the scope of the country's COVID-19 spread, Simon Achola, with the details. The Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Rashid Amani, continued with assessment of the county's preparedness in the fight against COVID-19, this time round pitching camp in Bomet County. It is here that the ministry gave an encouraging assessment of the country's position in the fight against the global pandemic. The trajectory of the disease it seems to be different uh, in in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, than in other countries. That does not mean that that curve can change in a bad direction at any time, and that is what we want to avoid. We don't want it to change into a bad direction. We need to continue to do what we are doing so that we keep pushing it and our numbers keep reducing, and we hope that we at some point can move to a situation of normality. This is not a time to drop the ball. We need to keep going, and in the next three, four weeks, maybe we'll have very good news. In the last 24 hours, 179 out of the 4,178 samples tested turned positive. Nairobi continues to account for the largest number of new infections with 66 new cases in the last 24 hours. Garissa is second with 21 cases, while Turkana and Nakuru counties have 12 cases each. Busia and Taita Taveta counties posted 10 and 11 respectively. That we are now focusing on event-based surveillance and community-based surveillance using our community health volunteers. That events that happen at community level are quickly picked up. Then uh, they are responded to through our rap rapid response teams. This is where we pick the majority of the cases that we test. That is the suspect cases plus the contacts of these suspected cases. Dr. Aman says owing to the current trend of few infections, the ministry is consulting the Africa Center for Disease Control Help analyze the situation in the country. To do what is called a seroprevalence survey, to be able to tell us the magnitude of the problem or the burden of the disease at population level. So we'll do sampling of uh, various counties, pick up specimens, analyze. This will be able to tell us more what is happening globally in the uh, in the in, in terms of COVID-19 in Kenya. Meanwhile, the government has set the record straight on viral protocols for patients who succumb to COVID-19, saying families should not procure personal protective gear for Ministry of Health officials involved in the interment ceremonies. To ensure adequate availability of PPEs for protection of the frontline healthcare workers, including the community health volunteers. If there's any family member who has been charged for PPEs especially for a burial because that is a double jeopardy, then that should be reported to us for appropriate action. Achola Simon, reporting for Channel 1 News from Bomet County.